Hi, this is meteorologist Steve Pelletier, and I am the weatherman. Thanks for checking in to the weathermanpod.com on your Tuesday. It is the 17th day of the month of September, a dry month in the northeast so far in the New York City. New York area only has had about a tenth of an inch of rainfall, 17 days in the books. And uh, we do expect that some of the moisture from the tropical disturbance that moved into the South Carolina, North Carolina coast during the daytime on Monday will spread northward and into New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, southern Pennsylvania, Maryland, and the D.C. area. And that's cleansing the atmosphere. A lot of folks suffering from hay fever this fall season. And the ragweed has really been bad. Grass pollen also quite bad. But with a little bit of rain, it tends to cleanse the atmosphere. So even though the weather may not be as nice over the next several days, at least the uh, hay fever sufferers and those folks very sensitive to ragweed and grass pollen will get some relief from those rains. Most of the rainy weather looks like it's going to be on Wednesday, midday, afternoon, and evening. And then maybe a little chance of some showers on Thursday. Then back to some nice weather later Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, of course, with that nicer weather, we'll come back. Uh, the extensive amounts of uh, pollen and ragweed and grass pollen that will be with us at the end of the week and this weekend. So hopefully a little break on Wednesday. Today, still a little bit on a tough side. We're seeing the worst of it just across the central Mississippi River Valley and from the central Great Lakes southward right in through sections of Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, Illinois, even northern portions of Missouri as well. Texas also having uh, high ragweed and grass pollens, and that's going to continue for at least the next couple of days. A look at uh, aviation-wise, uh, if you're traveling into the Atlanta area, have no major problems there. Charlotte will be under clouds and rain, so some IFR weather there could slow things up just a bit. Central and South Florida have been under showers and thunderstorms. No change for Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Dry conditions at Houston, San Antonio, Austin, and up to Dallas-Fort Worth. And Amarillo will be in some showers. Looks like some rainy weather. Western Dakotas, Montana, Idaho, and Pacific Northwest. In Oregon and Washington State, rainy weather there. Dry conditions from San Diego, L.A. to San Francisco, next 24 to 36 hours. For the Northeast Corridor, it looks like a lot of cloud cover for your Tuesday, with most of the rain moving up from south to north. Rainy weather in D.C. and South Jersey on Tuesday, but that moves further north on Wednesday and into Thursday, as that area of low pressure will be in the region, and an east flow will continue uh, temperatures on the cooler side. So far, the temperatures across the mid-Atlantic and northeast are running about 1 to 2 degrees below normal. That trend will continue into this upcoming weekend. I'm Eddie Rogers, Steve Pelletier, and I am the weatherman. Hope you have a great day today. Talk to you first thing on Wednesday. Take care.